Hello everyone. Today's session is going to be how to create a rock in Blender. First of all, this is going to be how to sculpt a rock. One other thing that we could do is just create a very basic shape and then apply a rock texture to that. The difference is, is that a rock texture means we would not have to add a lot of geometry. So that's going to be much lighter on our system. Our computer's going to run much smoother. And say we added that rock to a bigger file. So say we were doing a forest or a beach or something like that. We're going to be able to create something much bigger and much more detailed overall. If we sculpt a rock or any similar object, then we're adding much, much more geometry to it which is going to slow our system down. So this video is for people who want to sculpt textures and not apply textures. There is a big difference. Okie dokie, so I've opened Blender here. This is Blender 2.82. Um, as long as you've got 2.8 something, you should be able to follow along with this. 2.79 or earlier versions, you can actually do the same thing, it just looks very different, so don't be discouraged if you have the older version for any reason. So we're just going to get rid of this little window here by clicking off of it. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, delete the cube that we've got in the centre here. So I'm just going to hit X and then hit Enter. Okie doke. First thing I'm going to do in terms of making the rock is I'm going to go up to the very top here, top left and click add. I'm going to add a mesh and we're going to add a UV sphere. And we should get this little thing pop up. Now, if I go into sculpt mode, to do that I need to go into the top left here and go, click on where it says object mode and then go to sculpt. I haven't really got a lot to sculpt on because as you can see here we've got you know quite a few faces but not enough to add a lot of detail so if I take this clay brush for example from the list on the left here you know I'm not really doing an awful lot and that's because I haven't got enough geometry to actually see the difference I'm making so we need to boost that up a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to go over to the modifiers panel on the right here. You'll see a little blue uh, spanner. Click on that and then where it says add modifier, click again. And we're going to go to subdivide, subdivision surface. Sorry. Uh, if you're watching other tutorials, videos on YouTube, for example, this is also known as the subsurf modifier. So th that hopefully will iron out any confusion there. So this is the subdivision surface modifier or subsurf modifier. If we click on that, you can see immediately that we've got more geometry. So our face is a lot smoother, it's a lot more detailed. Um, we can make this even more detailed. If we go to viewport here in the subsurf modifier panel, you see that there's arrows to the left and right and that will increase and decrease the number of faces. So I'm going to just increase it so it says viewport 2. We can change the other settings if we want to increase the quality but that's all we really need for this tutorial and I'm going to hit apply. If you're not noticing any difference it's because you haven't hit apply and you'll see the window still here so hopefully that will uh, help with those issues. Okay so back to the top left and to sculpt mode and you can see now how much more pronounced my brush is you know we can really see exactly what we're doing you'll also notice that symmetry is automatically turned on and that's something that we can uh, get rid of here if we go into the settings panel up here we've got the spanner and uh, screwdriver sorry we scroll down, you'll see there's an option that says symmetry, we click on the little arrow to open that up and we've got all the mirroring options so if you do want actually to mirror in all directions you can click on those. Whatever's blue is active so I want to turn off mirroring so I'm just going to click on the X and now it's only going to sculpt exactly where I'm clicking. 
Now to create a rock texture, the best way of doing that is to actually download some rock texture brushes. And there's loads of different websites we can download those. There's websites called BlendSwap and Blender Nation. Uh, there are websites called Turbo Squid where we can download all these brushes. And I'm going to show you how we install those. So if I go to Sculpt Mode, make sure I'm in there. When I go to the very top left here, where it says File, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on Append. And just navigate to where your brushes are located. So I've got them in Assets, Brushes, Rock Brushes. And then I've got a Blender file for those brushes. I can open that up. And here you go. You can see that I've got my brush files here. And I'm going to hold down Shift and select all of those. And click Append. Now... Where are the brushes? Because we don't see any difference in this left-hand panel. It's actually because they're in the right-hand panel. So if we go to the settings here, and you get a little preview of the brush. So this little icon on the left, the icon on the right shows exactly what that texture is. Clicking on the icon reveals all the other brushes that we have. And you can see all these rock brushes that I've just imported here. So let's choose, uh, let's choose this one, RB20. You see that my cursor changes to a circle. We're not going to click and start sculpting. We're going to click and drag out. And you can see that texture now being worked into the mesh. Now, because these brushes are quite detailed, we need a really detailed surface to sculpt into and this isn't quite detailed enough so I'm going to undo all of that. I'm going to go back to object mode in the top left. I'm going to go back to my modifier panel and I'm going to add another subdivision surface modifier and click apply. We'll go back to sculpt mode Oops, and we need to reselect that rock brush. What was it? RB20? And there we go, much better. I can really see the difference that that's making. So I can just go around and I can, let's see, I can add a different brush, sort of build that up. There we go. And immediately there's our rock. You know, we've got a model with the rocked brush just building that all up for us. You can see it's quite pixelated here. Don't be too worried about that because when we render this, if you render this, or if you 3D print this, or you know, take it further, with this amount of polygons, you probably won't notice it in the final product. Um, so, now remember that once you've sculpted into this, we can still edit this shape with our basic modifiers. So if we go back to object mode, on the very left here, we've got move, we've got scale, we've got rotate, and we can still do all those things. So we can flatten our object and we can sort of stretch it out. So I can actually make a kind of like a rock step almost with a little bit of texture embedded into that. If I wanted to change the shape in something more specific, I would have probably done that at the start. So instead of starting with the sphere, I'd have molded a, a very basic shape and then applied the sub subdivide modifier and then do the same sculpting uh, into that. So that is basically how to sculpt a rock in Blender. I can add another texture to this. I can color this. I can render it. I can do all sorts now. But that is pretty much the long and short of adding texture, sculpting texture into a model.